for the hip hop culture, Tupac died for our sins. And a lot of people may say, oh, come on, Chris, what are you talking about? We detest the criminality of it all, the threatening image of the black man. But we also love it. It, it was so, entertainment. You know, maybe somebody should have just said to Tupac, "Look, it man, inspired. You don't have to be that." But then that would not have been Tupac. Now this ain't blasphemous. I'm not comparing Tupac to Jesus Christ. The line was when J. Cole said, "Tupac is like Jesus," and Nas wrote the Bible. Pop was like Jesus, Nas wrote the Bible. Now let me explain. When he compares Tupac to Jesus, he means Tupac is the most important figure in hip hop history. Just like Jesus Christ is the most important figure in the Bible. In hip hop history, Pac is the most important figure. Tupac's legend and legacy has far surpassed anything he could have ever fathomed for himself. What he could have done was, is, you can't count it, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's trapped in time. I believe we lost a prodigy. That's what I believe right there. That's, that, I think that's the best word. I believe we lost a prodigy, a son of God. What I miss most about Tupac was just the whole aura, just his whole presence, the whole thing. It's not just the rap, it's not just the words, it's not just the visual. It was the whole picture he painted. You know, he was, he's like a modern day Picasso, you know, modern day Picasso. So uh, I miss the pictures he painted for me. I mean, to be able to, to walk. To be able to feel like he's walked in my shoes and he's went through what I went through and, and somebody out there is going through it and dealing with it rather well. DMX is one of the most uniquely talented artists in music history. His ability to blend gospel and his raw struggle with personal battles together into beautiful art has garnered him lifelong fans that hold on to his words far beyond his time on this earth. DMX will tell you before anybody else that his music comes from a place beyond himself. X saw himself as a vessel for God's message and someone who was able to communicate those messages through his music to the masses. In fact, many of his songs are actually just him talking to God and asking for his words to be guided. X would often lead prayers in the studio and in the booth, some even ending up on his albums. Lord Jesus, it is you who wakes me up every day. And I'm forever grateful for your love. This is why I pray. You let me touch so many people, and it's all for the good. I influence so many children. I never thought that I would. And I couldn't take credit for the love they get, because it all comes from you, Lord. I'm just the one that's giving it. And when it seems like the pressure gets to be too much, I take time out and pray, and let you be my crutch. And of course, there's this classic spoken word prayer. Father God, I am just learning how to pray. Bear with me. First, I thank you for the life of everyone that's here with me. Then I thank you for the love you give me. Why? I don't know. I don't deserve it and it hurts inside. Many a nights I cried and called your name out loud, but didn't call you when I was doing good, too proud. And still you gave me love. I wasn't used to that. Most of the people that gave me love ended up taking it back. That's something new to me. So I'm asking you for time to adjust. Let me make it there. I will be one you can trust. What I stand for, I put my life on, I do. I'm, I, I, I'm not even playing. Uh, Pastor Kais reminds me of DMX. You know, it's like the way he talks, the way he raps, the way he sings, but then also like his style. Before DMX died, he was really praying and put out the spiritual stuff. And I feel, yeah, I do believe he's continuing that. Like, yeah. I know he said that, but like, yeah. What's going on? I want to give you much love and props for that, K-Ice, because like, you, you've been helping a lot of people, even from my channel. 
uh, with your spiritual, uh, like, you know, energy and helping them in their life. And like, that means a lot to me too. And everyone I bet. Like, I, you thank help. you because, because I just started the day. I'm like, dang God, am I even affecting people? Like, you are. Well, like, you know what I haven't said, you ever man, noticed how people just want to tell you to me. message them and, and pray for them on here? Like, you yeah, yeah. To me that I needed to hear. Thanks, man. Because even if it's just one person, you still have a mission to fulfill. You definitely affecting right. things. That's all I can say. I, I won't be. Able... It's not about how many people you reach. Is they you reach carry, us. carry out yeah. your assignment, yeah. and you go when you're supposed to go, and you do when you're supposed to do. I'm not saying I'm going to rule the world or I'm going to change the world, but I guarantee that I will spark the, the, the brain that will change the world. And that's our job, is to spark somebody else watching us. We, we might not be the ones, but let's not be selfish. And because we're not going to change the world, let's not talk about how we should change it. I don't know how to change it, but I know if I keep talking about how dirty it is out here, somebody's going to clean it up.